Hey everybody, welcome to the first of my travelogue videos. This is the Johnson Humrick House Museum in Coshocton, Ohio. It's about an hour and a half east of Columbus, Ohio. So what you see here, these are called the Newark Holy Stones, and they were found in 1860 at Newark, Ohio, which is only about an hour east of Columbus. They were found in the burial grounds of an ancient mound builder civilization, which the United States calls the Hopewell Civilization, who were here from about the 500 BC to about 400 AD. They were found by a man named David Wyrick and about seven other witnesses. This first stone you're looking at here, this is nicknamed the Decalogue Stone. It was found in November of 1860 in a large burial mound. And the reason why it's called the Decalogue Stone is because it has the entire Ten Commandments inscribed on it in ancient block Hebrew letters. You'll notice there's a person carved here in the middle. It looks like he's wearing a robe and a turban on his head and holding a tablet. The letters above his head say Moshe, which means Moses. As you can see, the inscription of the Ten Commandments is all over the front, sides, and back of the stone. After the stone was discovered when word got out about it, many people automatically dismissed it as fake because they didn't think it was possible for an ancient Hebrew artifact to be found in a North American burial mound that was a couple thousand years old, and they weren't aware that block Hebrew was a genuine written form of ancient Hebrew. They thought it was made up. Now, if you notice behind the Decalogue stone, you have the case and the lid, which the stone was found in. And as I mentioned before, David Wyrick had witnesses with him. They dug up thousands of wagon loads of dirt and stone, and at the very bottom and center of the burial mound, they found a wood coffin. When they opened it up, there was a skeleton inside that soon crumbled to dust, as ancient skeletons often do when they're exposed to air. There was a stone found with the skeleton, and when they picked it up, they could hear rattling inside of it when they shook it. And it turns out, the stone was a stone case, cemented together with something inside of it. They couldn't get the case open, so they cracked it open with a shovel, and that's when they found the Decalogue stone inside of it. This small bowl here, this was found with the Decalogue stone, and it has Hebrew significance, but I can't remember what it is. I'd have to search through my notes to find out and remember what it is. So sorry about that. But the other artifact here that I want to get to, this here is nicknamed the Keystone because it's shaped like a keystone. It was found a few months earlier in June of 1860 in the Newark area in a sinkhole. It has four sides, and on each side is a different inscription. So there's four inscriptions total, and they say, the King of the Earth, the Word of the Lord, the Laws of Jehovah, the Holy of Holies. And sadly, this stone was also dismissed by many as a fake. And because of all the backlash that David Wyrick kept getting about these stones, and people calling him a fraud and his reputation getting ruined, uh, eventually, the poor guy committed suicide. But thousands of Judeo-Christian artifacts like these have been found throughout North America, and they've always been dismissed by U.S. academia as fake. But if you learn about the Native American tribes that belong to the Algonquin and the Iroquois families, you'll find that their ancient ancestors came in boats across the Atlantic Ocean and arrived on the eastern shores of what is now the United States and Canada. And Hebrew words, customs, and beliefs have been preserved in their cultures. It was that way when the Europeans first arrived, and it's still that way today. Now, I'm a believer in a book called the Book of Mormon, which tells about two groups of Hebrews who left Jerusalem around 600 BC, shortly before the Babylonian captivity, and sailed across the Atlantic Ocean to ancient North America. Now, you may be somebody who, as soon as you hear the word Mormon, you automatically discredit anything associated with that word. And I'm not here to tell you that you have to think the Book of Mormon is true, but I would encourage you to read it, just like I'd encourage you to study up on the history of the Hopewell Mound Builders and the Native American tribes that come from the Algonquin and Iroquois families. And regardless of whether you believe the Book of Mormon is genuine or fake, either way, the facts are the facts. And Algonquins and Iroquois have Hebrew words, customs, and beliefs preserved in their cultures. 
That is an irrefutable fact. Whether you think the Book of Mormon and the thousands of other artifacts like the ones in this video are fake or genuine. There were Hebrews here in ancient America. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first travelogue video of mine. I visited the Johnson Humrick House back in 2015 and also again in 2017. Anyways, there's a lot of cool places to visit right here in the United States. You don't have to spend tons of money to go to other countries. Uh, I've got a lot of other places I've visited with a lot of video that I've filmed and I just want to get it out there to show people because it does no good sitting on my hard drive where nobody else can see it. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.